adding an elongated shape to their power line of paddles, Procanix introduces the Black Ace XF, featuring all the great technologies found in the Pro but in a longer option. A Torre carbon fiber hitting surface increases reaction and power. While a kinetic system helps with comfort on every shot, this paddle is an absolute powerhouse, coming in at an average weight of 7.9 ounces with an 11 millimeter core, making it a must for players looking to push their opponents around with overwhelming power. Now, having played with the Pro Kenix Black Ace Pro in the past, uh, I was super excited about getting on court with the new XF version of this paddle. Initial thought for me was this paddle has a lot of power. Um, I was able to push my opponents around the court uh, with just pure raw power. Uh, Jofi, what did you think about the paddle? Thanks, Howard. Yeah, honestly, I agree with you completely. When I first picked up the paddle, the first thing that came to mind was just how easy I was able to generate power with this paddle especially on my serves. I really enjoyed just how easy depth I was getting with my shots. So that was a big plus for me. I thought I was getting so much power that sometimes I almost had to dial back in a little bit to make my shots a little bit shorter maybe. That was something new for me that I had to adjust to. But as the play test went on, I was able to adjust to that without any issues. One more thing that really stood out for me actually was just how maneuverable this pedal was. That really stood out for me, especially when I was hitting quick reaction volleys, when I had to move around the pedal. Uh, faster than that. I really appreciated that maneuverability there, probably thanks to its thin core. Yeah, this paddle was super maneuverable in my opinion. I felt like whenever I got into a really sticky situation, I could always count on the paddle uh, being super easy to get that paddle in place and block any ball back. Up at net, definitely uh, reaction volleys. Uh, it was super easy to get that in place, as you had mentioned. On serves, uh, I felt like I could really cut through the air really nice and quick, uh, especially with that 11 millimeter uh, core on the paddle. So just overall maneuverability with this paddle was great. Um, I love the elongated shape. Uh, definitely helped me, uh, you know, sometimes you're on the court and you get a little bit sluggish and you get a little bit lazy. You don't want to reach down for a couple of balls, but the extended uh, face on this one definitely made it a lot easier uh, for me to get those balls and put back a decent ball to my opponent. Right, I definitely agree with the point. And uh, how did you feel on dinks? Because there was something I felt like I had to adjust my game a little bit more into. Because of the thinner cord, the balls left the paddle a bit too fast to my liking. Um, so I really had to dial my shots back in and make sure I'm not overhitting or I'm not you know, floating my balls too high up in the air. How do you think? At the kitchen line, I did have to adjust my strokes just because if I did my normal stroke, I felt like I was gonna pop up that ball a little bit too high. So it took me a little bit of an adjustment period to kind of dial in how much of an effort I wanted to put into each shot. But overall, I loved it just because whenever an opponent would pop a ball up, I knew I had enough power on the paddle uh, to just put that ball away or to force another error from them or have them uh, pop that ball up and finish it off with an easy overhead. Like with every Pro Kenix paddle, this paddle does feature the kinetic uh, technology with it. So if you're looking for a paddle that's gonna dampen the overall vibration on impact and you want something a little bit more arm and elbow friendly, this paddle is super awesome for that. Uh, out of all the power paddles out in the market right now, I'd say this is probably one of the most arm friendly paddles out there. Yeah, like you said, I feel like the kinetic technology has a lot of advantages for players who have arm issues. So I definitely see how that would be a plus for them. Uh, on the other hand, I do also feel like it might be a con for certain players like me. I am not a big fan of how the kinetic sand uh, kind of shifts as I'm hitting with the paddle. So that's just something that I have to be mindful of when I'm swinging, that my balance with the paddle might change as I'm swinging through the motion. So that's just something I need to adjust to. And again, it could be a plus or a con depending on what you're looking for. Overall, how did you feel about this paddle? Do you think it's better for singles play, doubles play? I had a feeling it's more maybe for singles, a bit better suited. What do you think? Yeah, so definitely this paddle, I feel like it gravitates towards that singles player a little bit more just because uh, when I'm playing tournaments and singles and doubles, I feel like in singles, I just need a little bit more easier access to power just because it's just you on the court. So you want to do is push your opponents around and find an opening to come up to the kitchen line. Uh, so I feel like this paddle does that really well. Uh, for doubles, uh, it, it is a good option for doubles as well. 
but you just have to adjust a little bit of your timing as well as how much of your own personal effort you want to put into the shot just because it does fly off of the paddle face really quick and you know the probability of errors is pretty high uh, especially at the kitchen line with this paddle uh, for dinks so I, i'd say singles players will probably love this paddle a little bit more i definitely if i would play just singles and needed a paddle that is going to give me a lot of help with reach and power this will probably be in within my top fives awesome yeah i totally agree for more information on the pro Kenix black ace xf and for all the black ace paddles uh, check us out at totalpickleball.com <laughs>